This program is sponsored by Luxury Pet Services, the home for the happy dogs. State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Gridiron Barbecue on Big Hill Avenue, the tastiest barbecue around. Respect the queue. Premier Home Care in Richmond. Simple's Chiropractic in Richmond and Berea. Offers Jewelry. Central Bank in Richmond. Vice and Smith CPA. Davenport Custom Guitars, 807 East Main in Richmond. Hall's Auto Service Center, James and Jane CPAs, Richmond. Guardian Bank, Faith Created Assembly of God Church. First Gear Downtown, Pro Signs in Southern Hills Plaza, and WWAG Radio. You can now watch Madison County School Sports on WKYT.com. Just go to WKYT.com forward slash your town and click Richmond. WKYT TV, an official sponsor of Madison County School Sports. Time Warner Business Class. Call Time Warner Cable today. Watch Madison County School Sports programming on Madison County Schools Cable Channel 9, Time Warner Cable Channel 5, on YouTube, and now on WKYT.com forward slash your town and click Richmond. Oh, the gridiron, a classic rectangle layout of boundaries and yardage numbers, a place where dreams and goals are realized and touchdowns are made. Nothing in sports rivals great high school football games in the fall of the year. Take a deep breath and inhale the drama. Traditions, sights and sounds emanate from the locker room to the stadium crowd. Listen to that crowd. It pumps you up to root for your team, your high school football team. On this night, this high school football night, it's your team out there. Welcome fans, welcome to your field, your high school field. It's football night in Madison County. It must be high school football season. Welcome to the Burt Brown Show. Interception return. This program is brought to you by LA1, a proud sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television. Renfro's Paint and Collision Center in Richmond and Berea. 369-4111. Renfro's Paint and Collision, sponsor of Hit of the Game. Waffle House, located at North Keeneland and the EKU Bypass. This program is sponsored by Gridiron Barbecue on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. Mmm, it's good barbecue. Done right. Hi and welcome to the Coach Burt Brown Show. I'm Samantha Burford and of course I'm here with Coach Burt Brown. We're at Gridiron Barbecue tonight and we're going to talk about the infamous game, I guess, last Friday night against Tates Creek. Mm -hmm. Madison Central One. Let's just start right out and talk about the fashion of the game. <laughs> well, that's something that uh, that I did a few years ago at Perry Central. I got an idea. Uh, I was, the NFL was doing the peak wristbands and things like that, so I kind of got online and, and looked for some stuff, and I saw an article. I, get, I think it was a team in New Jersey, the coach, and his mother had died of breast cancer. And, uh, right. He had the idea to, to wear pink jerseys, and uh, they put people that had uh, either deceased or, or, or cancer survivors, the kids that put them on the back of their jersey, and people uh, bought the jerseys for them. And, and uh, so it was a pretty neat little idea. And I, I think uh, it's a great So I kind of ran with it up there, and we did that. And it was, a, it was a pretty neat deal. We had a teacher at the time there that was a 
breast cancer survivor, and the boys uh, got her a pink football, and everybody signed their name on it. So good. it was a pretty neat thing. So I thought that it would be a pretty neat thing for us to do here, and, and uh, I think it really helps for the boys to understand, uh, you know, that there's that, that cancer – is something that touches a lot of lives and, and, and that your time on earth is precious. So right. uh, it's it also helps our kids to understand some things. Right. Well, in case someone wasn't at the game, your team wore pink, cheerleaders wore pink, you wore pink, mm -hmm. the crowd, yes, the crowd to all wear pink. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so mm -hmm. I think, you know, with the hospital promoting it mm -hmm. and, you know, paint the town pink of Richmond, mm -hmm. I think Everybody has been touched with it at some point, so I, I think you're exactly right, and it's important. Oh yeah, it is, and hopefully next year the thing can grow. This is next year will be the third year for it, and hopefully we, you know, we get more fans. Uh, get more fans it. there. It was and, fall break. So. Yeah, yeah. Get more fans there, and I, I know that a portion of the gate went to uh, to uh, cancer research and things like That's that. That's really so, nice. Probably the Susan G. Komen Yeah, Foundation. yeah. So it would be awful nice if we could pack that stadium for something like that. Well, it was a big win. Mm -hmm. Let's just start right off with the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you feel. Well, I thought offensively we uh, – defensively came out and stopped them. Offensively did what basically we wanted to do and, uh, and uh, got the ball rolling pretty well and played pretty good defense. Um, uh, you know, so I, I was I was excited about that, excited about our game plan. Our coaching staff did a great job. And, uh, well, right at the beginning, you had really good ball position. Mm -hmm. Well, our defense gave us that. Right. Our, our defense was uh, was uh, did an excellent job. Uh, you know, if you really look, uh, they had a, a kickoff for touchdown and a kickoff return to the 15, and uh, and then they got two onside kicks on us. We. The first one, we ran away from it like it was a rattlesnake. We should have recovered that. And the second one was questionable. They recovered it at the 48 and spotted the ball on the 50. I wasn't too happy about that. I still hadn't heard the explanation on that one. So Still waiting. Yeah, I'm still waiting. <laughs> uh, I've called around and asked uh, some people about that one. But uh, anyway, it was a great night and a good win. That was a good win. Well, so you wanted to talk about Stalker. He passed it to Tucker Fair. Yeah, well, that, that was play. that's a little thing that we we call rabbit go. We run a little rabbit screen to Boz and uh, and let him get the ball in space and block for him there on the perimeter. And, uh, so rabbit go, we run a guy up the sideline and uh, we fake the rabbit screen and run Tucker down the sideline there. He's wide open and uh, you know big it play. starts Start out as a big right. play. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you went for two points. Tell us yeah. why you did well, that. Well. Our kicker uh, broke his hand about a month ago in a soccer match, and so we, we struggled with kicking the ball. And uh, we we got some of the soccer boys to come out, and uh, and they had to get so many uh, weeks in of practice before they could kick. Okay. So um, I I wasn't sure they'd never kicked under fire except in practice, and that's just not the same. And so. Uh, I didn't want to throw them out there and, and miss an extra point and be, be six to nothing. So we went for two to get it and got it. So after that, uh, we started kicking uh, extra points. And, uh, and you know, I was going to rotate the guys through, but uh, uh, Zach Owsley did a heck of a job. And, and so we kept him in there and, and we rotated all the guys through kicking. So they did a great job and they've uh, been coming out to practice and, and doing some things with us. So uh, I just look for them to get better. Good, good. So we'll see more of that. Then. That's yeah. good. All right. So tell us, defense did a really good job mm -hmm. keeping with the first quarter. There was a big pay play. I, I guess I want to say a big pass, big play. Yeah. Well, defensively, I think with it, you know, you take the last two ball games, you take five plays out of the game. Uh, uh, you know, teams offensively hardly have anything on us, and uh, we've given up some big pass plays. Uh, and but now we, the Oxendine kid is an excellent running back. He's a Division One kid that's been offered by a couple of Division One schools. I think he had 32 or five yards rushing all night. So we pretty much bottled him up in that aspect. But we did give up a couple kickoff returns to him. Right. But, but uh, he's a big time talent and uh, did a great job. But our defense pretty much shut the run down for the most part. Right. But uh, uh, we gave up a. Uh, 
you know, three long pass plays that we shouldn't have, and, and part of that was our pass rush. Uh, we didn't do a very good job uh, pressuring the quarterback up front, and uh, uh, you know, you can't cover somebody for five seconds or four seconds. You got to get in the quarterback's face some, and, and our defensive line, we've challenged them this week to do a better job of staying in their rush lanes. We got out of rush lanes a few times, he and the kid's such a good athlete, he got out and, and made some plays. Now, Tate's Creek had two quarterbacks that they switched in and out. Mm -hmm. How do you think defensively that affected you all? It that? didn't. It didn't. Both of them are pretty good football players, and, and uh, uh, so it really didn't have an effect on us because they both could throw it and both of them could run it. And, uh, so that, that aspect didn't, didn't really bother, my, bother us. I think that he was probably doing that to – uh, really settle in on trying to settle in on one quarterback problem. Okay. So when they were trying, uh, it to wasn't it wasn't anything mental that, game. No, it to. wasn't anything that was going to affect our how we schemed them because we knew they both could throw the football and uh, both of them could run the football well. So uh, we we just prepared for a quarterback uh, because we knew either one of those guys in there they could both pass and run. Okay. Were there any big plays you want to? Give us an example of or any big passes in the first quarter well, that you want to? Well, for us, uh, I thought we moved the ball well. We ran the ball for 329 yards, maybe 345 yards, something like that. Had 509 total yards offense and 23 first downs. Anytime you can do that uh, at the high school level, it's great because not a lot of people reach the 500-yard mark, no. especially in a district football game, in a big district game. Uh, so, uh, you know, offensively, I thought we did some great things. I know um, we, we, when we, when we stopped ourselves when we were stopped. You know, we never punted. Of course, Will was going to punt one time and saw that he could get the first down running it, and, uh, and he did. He did a great job, and that was heads up on Will Nash's part. So, uh, uh, you know, when you don't have to punt, you've had a pretty good night. Exactly. Now tell us, how do you think Stalker, Hawkins, Bosley, how do you, how do you think they did in the first half? Well, I, you know, I think they did, they did fine. I mean, we were given a lot of time by our, by our front five to, to give Hunter time to throw the football. And we bootlegged him some and did some things like that to get him, get him out of the pocket and get him on the run. And, uh, you know, all of that, uh, I think we had 254 yards at the half maybe. Uh, which uh, I was pretty pleased with that. Uh, and, you know, we've just got to eliminate the big play. The big pass plays. what we've got to eliminate, especially this week against Lafayette, uh, because they're, they're, they have so much speed right. on the field. So, uh, and, and Tate's Creek did too. They, uh, now, to, the, to their credit, uh, they made, threw some beautiful balls and, and absolutely made two great catches over the shoulder. One of them was one-handed with uh, Bosley was all over the kid. And he I made an unbelievable one. catch. So, you know, I mean, when you play defense like that and they catch the ball on you, there's not not much you can say that the kid uh, for Tate's Creek, just uh, outstanding effort. Okay. Well, before we go on, we're going to take a quick break. All right. We'll be, we'll be right back. Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. Why take the risk with someone else? Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision. This program is sponsored by Luxury Pet Services, the home for the happy dogs. State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Gridiron Barbecue on Big Hill Avenue, the tastiest barbecue around. Respect the queue. Premier Home Care in Richmond. Simple's Chiropractic in Richmond and Berea. Offers Jewelry. Central Bank in Richmond. Vice and Smith CPA. Davenport Custom Guitars, 807 East Main in Richmond. Hall's Auto Service Center. James and Jane CPAs, Richmond. Guardian Bank. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. First Gear Downtown. Pro Signs in Southern Hills Plaza. And WWAG Radio.
Premier Home Care, safety, solutions, and independence. Check out Premier Home Care's rehab services. Recovering from unexpected injuries or life-changing events requires compassion, patience, and extraordinary care from a leading care provider. Premier Home Care Rehab Services specializes in sports, automobile accidents, work-related injuries, neck and back pain, joint pain, muscle aches, dizziness, balance and gait disorders, in-home consultation, and treatments. Visit Premier Rehab now at 370 Highland Park Drive, Suite 1, or give us a call, 623-4567. There's no place like home to heal, Premier Home Care, Premier Home Care. Oh my, does that look good. If you think it looks good, try tasting it. Gridiron Barbecue on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond has the best barbecue around, folks. Try our Pulling Guard Pork Sandwich. How about our All Out Blitz Brisket? What about our Crack Back Rib Basket or our Second and Goal Angus Cheeseburger? Fair Catch Pulled Chicken and lots, lots more. Follow your nose to the best smelling and best tasting barbecue in Richmond and Madison County. That's Gridiron Barbecue on Big Hill Avenue. Respect the queue. Hi, welcome back to the Coach Burt Brown Show. I'm Samantha Burford, and tonight we're at Gridiron Barbecue. We're talking about the Madison Central game against Hates Creek last Friday night. I think we've pretty much covered everything in the first half of the game. So the score was 28 to 12 going in at halftime. Mm -hmm. So tell us what you told your team at halftime. Well, we, uh, you know, we pretty much, they pretty much did defensively what they, what we thought uh, that they would do, and. Uh, uh, Offensively, they did what we, the what we had coached our kids up all week uh, that they would do. We just talked about eliminate the big play, and we felt like that we could come out in the second half and and uh, and keep doing what we were doing. Uh, and of course, uh, they come out and kick an onside kick, and and uh, we you know we talked to them all the time about the front line does not move until that ball's over your head, you know, until that ball's kicked over your head. Well. Uh, we didn't do that. We took off and right. backed up and ran, and 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 uh, that that ball was just on the turf. It seemed like for an eternity, and and uh, we didn't get it, and they got it and got the momentum going and went down and and scored. So yeah, they got their crowd fired up. Yeah, didn't they you? did, and they and you know it's an emotional game. Football is a very emotional game, and you play a lot of times on emotion, uh, and uh, and so they had the momentum rolling there. Well, and it seemed like the score. You know, we kept. It seemed like it kept going, us, them, us, them. So yeah. it, it was emotional because we were getting nervous well, and then was, we thought, all right. And yeah, well, and then. As fans, Yeah, anyways. and then they kick another <laughs> one. They kick another onside kick, and uh, you can see uh, they recover the ball on the 48-yard line. So, you know, of course, my guys up top are saying, well, Coach, it's our ball. They recovered it on the 48-yard line. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, you see on film the kids laying on the 48-yard line. Right. Uh, and they give them the ball on the 50. Uh, and, of course, the white hat wouldn't come over there and explain to me why that happened. Uh, oh, he wouldn't. He wouldn't come over no. there. And, and I was asking them, and they just uh, wouldn't come over there. Uh, you know, a guy gets the ball on the 48. He recovers it on the 48, and you spot it on the 50. The ball's got to go 10 yards. Uh, so it's got to go to the 50 or beyond the 50, uh, and they recover it on their side of the, the 50 on the 48-yard line, and then they spot the ball on the 50. Uh, now, if one of our kids had touched the football and they recovered it on the 48, then it would be their ball on right. the 48. They wouldn't move it to the 50. Okay. Uh, so uh, that was my question. I still don't understand that one. Uh, and I that's another one you'll still be waiting on. Yeah, right? I'll be waiting on that, that explanation. But uh, anyway, that being said, I mean, that just happens. Uh, but we've got to stop them. But they've, they've gotten the two possessions right out of the half. Uh, and to our kids' credit, uh, we kept fighting and, and uh, got the ball back. And offensively, we took care of business, I thought, in the right. second half. Any big plays? For Central, that you want to well, uh, shout you know, out I think that uh, uh, Dominique, we finally got him in the secondary. Uh, and uh, you know, we've been struggling with getting him to the second level without really getting hit. Uh, and you know, Chris Walters coming back has made a huge difference in our offensive line. And and uh, you know, our two guards have been out for the majority of the season. Of course, Christian Carter 
who is now like our GA because he's out for the season. He's doing a lot of film work with us and stuff and learning. He wants to be a football coach, so uh, he's taking a bad situation and, and turned it into a good one. He's learning some football and learning how to do some things. So, uh, But Chris has done a, an excellent job coming back. And, of course, he was a senior. And, uh, you know, when you're a senior and you miss your first five football games your senior year, you come back with a, with – with more fire than probably anybody's got because you understand that it can be taken away from right. him pretty quick. And, and how important it is. Oh yeah, and so he's in it to win it. Now. Yeah, and so he's Not doing a time, yeah, right? he's doing a great job, and he uh, and we're just getting our whole offense line is doing a great job, and, we're, and we got Dominique on the second level where he can make some cuts and do some things, and that's what we've been wanting to try to do all year with him is get him out there in space, and once you get him in space. He's hard to tackle, and plus he's a load. I mean, he's 192 pounds, six one, uh, and he can, you know, he's quick. He changes directions great, uh, and and you know we use uh, Kenjai Bosley on our <clears throat> speed sweep, our jet sweep stuff, and then we fake that and run the counter with the quarterback inside. And so there's several different things I think we can do offensively uh, to people that present some with some problems, and and when we're healthy. Uh, I think we're pretty pretty hard to stop. Well, let's keep talking about some of your upperclassmen. I know we're getting to the end of the season. Are, they're all healthy, physically, mentally. Well, you're never really all healthy at this point of the season because uh, you know everybody's a little bit banged up here and there. Uh, but for the most part, we're healthy. For the most part, uh, we're we're good right now. I know Caleb McClure is our starting fullback. He's had some elbow issues and. Uh, uh, but he's coming around. I think he's gotten better. Uh, and Caleb does a great job catching the football out of the backfield. Uh, as he's been doing a great job working on his blocking. Uh, he couldn't play last week, so our starting fullback was out of the, out of the game. And Brandon Northern uh, started for us. He's a sophomore. He started fullback and hadn't played a lot of fullback. Okay. But he's a guided missile now. He'll hit you, and uh, he did some good things for us. So. Uh, you know, and of course, Ken Jai is just a super athlete and does great things. And uh, Taylor Nunley up front, and, and uh, Tyler McKinley, our center, and and uh, and uh, Matt Brooks, and and those guys, they've just done a done a great job. And and you know, we're we're getting to the point in the season where we're starting to gel. I think offensively, it, it's been kind of rough for us with those guys being out where. Uh, you know, you, you're missing some guys. Whenever you miss, you miss one, it's not so bad. But when you're missing two and three up front, right. uh, those things That's can take a, take a toll on right. you. And, and, and getting that uh, chemistry going now, I think. So um, and we're going to need it Friday night, that's for sure. Yeah. Let's talk about the fourth quarter. It got really close there at one point. And let's tell us your <coughs> thoughts going up to that field goal. <coughs> well, you know, anytime you're only up four points, you're worried because of a touchdown beat you. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, at least you you can't get beat by a field goal, but uh, not a lot of people have great field goal kickers in high school, so uh, a lot of people are trying to score desperately. Uh, but, uh, you know, we we uh, tighten up there on defense. I, you know, if not for our, our kicking game, uh, it's not a close football game. Right. If we recover those two onside kicks and we don't let them return a kickoff for a touchdown and get one to the 15, uh, it's not even a, uh, it's not even close. But you know what? Special teams is a major part of football. I mean, usually the team that does the best on special teams is usually going to win. I mean, not all the time because you have to play in the trenches. Uh, you, you have to do the job up front both sides of the ball, but your your special teams can can win or lose a football game for you, and it about lost it for us. Right. Uh, but our defense tightened up and did some good things, and then you know we get down there and 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 uh, and. Uh, think you got to the 25 and, yard and, line. And Zach kicks a big field goal there, and I don't know if he knew how big that was. You know, not not playing football a long time, and. and and uh, coming out of soccer and, and kicking, yeah, uh, you know he kicks the ball a lot in soccer, but you don't get as many shots to kick right. a ball in football. But that was a massive field. It was goal. important to the oh, game. 
very important Mentally. because now they Put have now they have to score. Right. And uh, if they beat you, they've got to go for two. And if they tie you, they've got to kick that extra point. And we've Brandon Parks has done a great job along with our whole special teams, our defense there blocking kicks. So uh, you know we felt pretty good, and I felt like our defense was going to rise to the occasion and stop them. That's good. Well, before we go any further, we're going to talk about the next two away games. But before we go any further, we're going to take a quick break, all right? And we'll be right back with Coach Burt Brown right after this. Number 46, Blake Broadus, fullback, outside linebacker. Hammer Hatchet, number five, receiver. Donald Rooster Lopez, outside linebacker, number 29. Brandon Parks, 59, defensive tackle. Hunter Stocker, number 18, quarterback. Paul Couch, 22, defensive end. Christian Carter, right guard, 62. Austin Coyle, number 12, strong safety slash wide receiver. Chris Walters, 64, left guard. Tucker Fair, number 11, linebacker and tight end. Taylor Nunley, number 75, defensive tackle and left tackle. Jimmy Curry, number 43, free safety and wide receiver. Jazzercise Richmond Fitness Center is a proud sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television. Premier Home Care, safety, solutions, and independence. Check out Premier Home Care's rehab services. Recovering from unexpected injuries or life-changing events requires compassion, patience, and extraordinary care from a leading care provider. Premier Home Care Rehab Services specializes in sports, automobile accidents, work-related injuries, neck and back pain, joint pain, muscle aches, dizziness, balance and gait disorders, in-home consultation and treatments. Visit Premier Rehab now at 370 Highland Park Drive, Suite 1, or give us a call, 623-4567. There's no place like home to heal. Premier Home Care. Premier Home Care. Aw, oh, that is just the cutest thing. Whether you're going out of town, business, spring break, vacation, or just to get away, Luxury Pet Service is a phone call away. Luxury Pet Service is owned and operated by LaDonna Sizemore Whitecamp. You'll be secure in knowing your pet will be taken care of by highly trained and loving professionals. Luxury Pet Services also has grooming services and extraordinary daycare service too. Our mission at Luxury Pet Services is to care for your pet in a safe and friendly environment where dogs have fun. When you leave your dog with us, it's like leaving a member of your family, and that is a responsibility we take seriously. Luxury Pet Services is located about three minutes from Richmond Center. Visit our website or Facebook us. Luxury Pet Services, the home for happy dogs. This program is sponsored by Luxury Pet Services, the home for the happy dogs. State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Gridiron Barbecue on Big Hill Avenue, the tastiest barbecue around. Respect the queue. Premier Home Care in Richmond. Simples Chiropractic in Richmond and Berea. Hoppers Jewelry. Central Bank in Richmond. Vice and Smith CPA. Davenport Custom Guitars, 807 East Main in Richmond. Hall's Auto Service Center, James and Jane CPAs, Richmond. Guardian Bank, Faith Created Assembly of God Church. First Gear Downtown, Pro Signs in Southern Hills Plaza, and WWAG Radio. This program is brought to you by L81, a proud sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television. Renfro's Paint and Collision Center in Richmond and Berea, 369-4111.
Renfro's Paint and Collision, sponsor of Hit of the Game. Here for Gordon. He steps back and runs right into a defender. Nice job by Brandon Parks. Number 59. Brandon Parks, senior for the Indians, makes a big tackle. So I believe they'll lose two. So it makes it second and eight. As the clock keeps ticking. Welcome back to Gridiron Barbecue. We're here with Coach Burt Brown. And let's talk about your record. It's an impressive record, I would say. And we're going to talk about the next two away games. Mm -hmm. So you're six and two for the year, one and zero in your district. How do you feel about that? Well, being one and zero in the district's big. I mean, uh, you know, any time that you can win the first one, you got a chance to be undefeated in the district. That's always good. And right. you're not waiting on somebody else to help you out. So. Uh, we've got our fate in our hand, and we've got to go take care of business uh, at Lafayette Friday night. And they've it's an important got a, game. A very, very big game. They've got a heck of a football team. They, anytime you've got a bunch of kids that can run like they do, uh, it's a scary thing. I mean, uh, they've got four or five kids that every time they touch the ball, they can go 90 yards with it. So uh, we're going to have to play great defense, run to the football on defense and control the football offensively, not turn the ball over and take take the ball from them and then capitalize on those things. So uh, it's a big football game. I mean, we've got to we've got to get out there and, and play a great game. And we've had a pretty good week of practice. I think the boys are ready. I think we've got a great game plan. Our coach and staff has done an excellent job of watching film over last weekend and, and this week during the week and watching film with the kids and preparing them for the game. So. Uh, Hopefully we'll we'll take care of business there, and then the next uh, ball game will be at our arch rival GRC in, right. in Winchester. Uh, we'll need a, a another great fan base to come over there. We need them to come to Lafayette, to Lafayette Friday too. night. Students we need, and uh, yeah, parents students and, and, and fans, and fans everybody. In general. We need them all. Right. Wearing the blue and red. Uh, right, and uh, and then uh, you know Clark County hasn't won a game as of yet. They've got a new coaching staff, and I know they're doing different things. Uh, offensively uh, that they're not used to, but that's just part of uh, uh, taking over a program that, uh, that uh, you know, you've got to change some things and you've got to do your thing and uh, get your kids to learn how to do what, what they need to do. So, But they're always dangerous because they've got athletes they can run. and uh, So we'll have to go over there and play a great game. Anytime you play a rivalry like that, you can throw the records out. And right. we all know that. I mean, I know that... Uh, me and uh, Sean Rosenbaum played on the same high school at Mass team at Madison Central in 85, and we had a better football team. Went over there and got beat. Uh, we were better. We shouldn't yeah. have gotten beat, and that's when they took one school uh, to the playoffs out of each district, and uh, it cost us going to the state playoffs my senior year and Sean's senior year. And You'll uh, never forget it. Never forget it. I will never forget it. That's uh, right. Uh, Rick Burkhead, whose son's a starting tailback at, at Nebraska now, beat us about single-handedly. I think he had 291 yards, I think, or 94 yards, I remember it. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, we just went over there. We played Laurel County the week before, uh, beat them handily. They were a much better football team, we thought, than Clark County, and we went over there to Clark County. I think everybody thought we were just going to show up and win. And, and, uh, and it it'd be an happen. easy game. And it didn't happen. So right. that's something that you don't want that to happen. we don't to need you. to do. And, and, and we've got to take care of business this Friday night and, and, and uh, stay focused. And stay focused. And then the next week, got to get back focused again. Well, and you got to stay healthy, too. Oh, yeah. yeah you got to I mean, stay healthy because there's so much going on with allergies right now with everybody. Well, yeah. And I, I mean, what, one of our starting corners right now has got the flu, and he's. He was sick as a dog yesterday and didn't come to school today and is uh, is uh, can't hold anything down. Oh, so, no. so we got to get him better by yeah, Friday. Yeah, we got to get him better by Friday. And he, Calling he, his mom. He's going to have to have a lot of fluids in him and uh, because it is the, as Greg Edwards would say, the cold and flu season. So, right. uh, so we, we definitely have to, uh, have to, you know, and I've talked to the kids about that. They can't be drinking after each other and any of that stuff because uh, 
the germs are in the air right now, that's for sure. Well, and they always tell you, wash your hands, wash yeah. your hands, wash your hands. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. So, yeah. Did we cover everything? Did we miss anything? Well, I don't think so. I think we covered everything. I, I think um, we just need a big crowd to show up these next two weeks on the road for us. And, and uh, because I think what our young men have done here is pretty impressive now. We were district champions undefeated last year uh, after winning one game my first year here. Our kids uh, uh, worked their rear ends off and went undefeated in the district uh, and, uh, and have worked extremely hard in the off season to get to this point to be able to play in a big football game. And that's what I told our kids, you know, you don't get a lot of chances to play in big football games. Right. And, uh, you know, every game is a big game, but you don't get a chance to play in a game a lot of times when everybody is focused all over looking to see what happens in that football game. And this is the week that a lot of people throughout the state are going to be saying, I wonder what Mass and Central Lafayette score is or how that game's going to be. And you're probably going to get some people that just want to, that aren't fans of either school that are going to want to go see a good football game and show up to that. So, and all the news crews will be there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, we've, we've just got to go take care of business. Right. Well, congratulations on your big win, Tate's Creek, Thank last you. Friday night. Final score of the game was 45-38, mm -hmm. correct? A little too close. It was. <laughs> but, but it's a win. It's a win. It's a we'll w. take it. We'll take it. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Coach. And mm -hmm. Good luck this next two weeks, and then you're back at home on the 26th. Uh-huh. That's right. And who do you play then? Knox Central Knox out of Central. Barberville, which I think they're undefeated. Uh, they're a 4A school, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and undefeated, and uh, they have a great football team, so that'll be another challenge. Good. Well, we wish you the best. Thank you. Big wins, hopefully, come in the next Ho three hopefully, weeks. Hopefully, we keep our fingers And then strong. get into the playoffs. Uh-huh. All right. Well, great. Well, thank you for watching. If you need more of our show, want to watch it again, you make sure that you can watch it on Channel 9, Channel 5, or on YouTube. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for watching. This program is sponsored by Luxury Pet Services, the home for the happy dogs. State Farm Insurance. Jerry Goble in Richmond. Gridiron Barbecue on Big Hill Avenue. The tastiest barbecue around. Respect the queue. Premier Home Care in Richmond. Simple's Chiropractic in Richmond and Berea. Offers Jewelry. Central Bank in Richmond. Vice and Smith CPA. Davenport Custom Guitars 807 East Main in Richmond. Hall's Auto Service Center. James and Jane CPAs, Richmond. Guardian Bank. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. First Gear Downtown, Pro Signs in Southern Hills Plaza, and WWAG Radio. This program is brought to you in part by BereaOnline.com, covering the news and events of Madison County since 1995. You can now watch Madison County School Sports on WKYT.com. Just go to WKYT.com forward slash your town and click Richmond. WKYT TV, an official sponsor of Madison County School Sports. Time Warner Business Class. Call Time Warner Cable today. Watch Madison County School Sports Programming on Madison County Schools Cable Channel 9, Time Warner Cable Channel 5, on YouTube, and now on WKYT.com. Forward slash your town and click Richmond. Premier Home Care in Richmond is a proud sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television. Premier Home Care has all the sports orthotics you need for any sports injury. Be sure to check out our retail location for all your sports orthotics. Premier Home Care in Richmond. There's no place like home to heal. Premier Home Care. Premier Home Care.
Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. Why take the risk with someone else? Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision. I want you to watch Madison County Schools Sports Television. Aw, oh, that is just the cutest thing. Whether you're going out of town, on business, spring break, vacation, or just to get away, Luxury Pet Service is a phone call away. Luxury Pet Service is owned and operated by LaDonna Sizemore White Camp. You'll be secure in knowing your pet will be taken care of by highly trained and loving professionals. Luxury Pet Services also has grooming services and extraordinary daycare service too. Our mission at Luxury Pet Services is to care for your pet in a safe and friendly environment where dogs have fun. When you leave your dog with us, it's like leaving a member of your family. And that is a responsibility we take seriously. Luxury Pet Services is located about three minutes from Richmond Center. Visit our website or Facebook us. Luxury Pet Services, the home for happy dogs. This program is brought to you in part by BereaOnline.com, covering the news and events of Madison County since 1995. Hey everybody, do you know that Richmond Kentucky Tourism now has an iPhone app? Go to RichmondKYTourism.com to download yours today. Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. Why take the risk with someone else? Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision.